Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual science classroom. This is your teacher, da, teacher Daryl Del Mundo. And today, we are now in the fourth quarter in this school year 2020-2021. At last, we are in the last leg of our discussion. So before anything else, this is our first week. And before we formally start, let us have a short prayer for this morning. Thank you very much. And Ms. Secretary, do not forget to check the attendance. Check how many boys and how many girls do we have today. Okay? And do not forget to send it in our group chat. Okay? And then, we are going to tackle about this new topic since we are done with biology, we are done with chemistry, and we are done with physics. Now, we are going to focus about earth and space science so this is its first week okay or week number one to formally start i just uh, want you to remember that this earth and space week number one or quarter for week number one discussion is all about locating places using coordinate system later on you will know more about this topic so basically mm, tayo ng lugar. okay so that is this topic all about and uh, the supplementary learning material will help us to learn number one latitude and longitude i know you are familiar with this too and lesson number two how to locate places using coordinates so as we look back all you have to do in this diagram or illustration you have to label the following i will give the four okay the first four answers so we have to be familiarized uh, to the different directions of the globe or if you are using your map. So, ang globe is a circular representation or uh, illustration of the earth that is a globe while map is a flattened illustration of the earth. Okay? So, this time we are using a globe. Now, number one, that is the north. I know you are familiar with that one. And number two, look at here, this is the Okay, east. And number three, if this is the north, you know that this part at the bottom is the south. Okay, how about number four? If we have north, east, south, what is missing? You are correct. That is the west. Okay, so on the other hand, all you have to do is to label all the blank spaces or the blank boxes in our illustrations so that we are able to complete this diagram. Do not forget that. And for our lesson number one, we are going to focus on latitude and longitude. So as a brief introduction of, long, of our latitude and longitude, scientists have established a coordinate system using circular lines to pinpoint any place on Earth. A coordinate system is a grid used to identify locations on a page or screen. So as you can see, this is the representation of the Earth. So this is a globe and it has coordinate system. A coordinate system is a grid used to identify locations on a page or a screen. So kung meron kang mga grid, mas madali natin ma-identify yung mga locations dun sa screen na gamit natin. So at ganun din yung ginagamit natin dito sa ating uh, coordinate system sa globe. And uh, that coordinate system is equivalent to the grid locations on the globe, like what I've said a while ago. The most common coordinate system used is by using longitude and latitude. So, yun yung mga linya na nakikita nyo sa globo. Okay? Those are the imaginary lines that you see on the globe. Remember, ang Earth class, wala talaga yung longitude and long, uh, latitude. Kasi yun lang ay imaginary line so that we are able to locate places exactly. Okay? So in reality, wala talaga yung mga longitude and latitude na yan. This is the representation of the globe with the grid. And also, as part of our brief introduction, the first lines or imaginary lines that we are going to discuss is this illustration okay 
So, lines of longitude or meridians, ito yung other name or yung other term na ginagamit natin for longitude. They are called meridians. Meridian circle, the earth from north to south. So, napalilibutan niya ang earth mula north to south. So, remember that longitude divides the earth into east and west sections. So, ang longitude, it runs from north down to the south and it divides the what east and then the west the lines of longitude runs from north to south and it divides east and west side of the globe so the starting point for longitude is the prime meridian meaning to say dito ang starting point or yung starting line okay the prime meridian is at longitude 0 degrees or 0 degree to the right of the prime meridian Longitude is written this way. So, ito yung makikita nyo. Example, 15 degrees east, 30 degrees east, and so on. So, pag nakita nyo na na east yan, automatically, that is the line of longitude. Okay? To the left of the prime meridian, ito naman sa left side, okay, the longitude is written as 15 degrees west, 30 degrees west, and so on. So, if it is located on the right side, that is east and if it is located on the left side that is west okay and you know that it is longitude because it divides east and west side of the globe and as we go on to longitude or meridians there are 180 degrees of longitude to the west of the prime meridian and 180 to the east of the globe so as you can see here we have 180 and another 180. Okay. And then the primary region is the line of longitude that runs through Greenwich. It is the line of longitude at zero degrees. The 180 degrees meridian is the exact opposite of the primary region. So ito yun. This is the exact opposite. Okay, and it is called anti-meridian. Okay, so this is the primary region at zero degrees. While on the other side of the prime meridian, that is the anti-meridian. Am I clear? So dito sa prime meridian, ito yung starting point ng longitude, kaya 0 degrees. Okay? Dun sa 180 degrees sa likod ng prime meridian, that is the anti-meridian, which is 180 degrees. So saan tayo magsisimula? We will always start at 0 degrees sa prime meridian kapag longitude. And the question is, why prime meridian is in Greenwich? With the Greenwich meridian set as 0 degrees or 0 degree longitude, the 180 meridian runs through the Pacific Ocean and crosses only a small land area in northeastern Asia and some island groups in the Pacific, including the Philippines as well. So this is beneficial because time changes by an entire day when you cross the 180 degrees meridian. So, nag-iiba na yung time at yung date. Siyempre, pag nag-iba yung time, mag-iiba rin yung date. Kaya, di ba napapansin nyo, if you came here from the Philippines and then you go to the other part of the world, for example, America, we have different time and we have different date. Okay? So, if this meridian cross a large country, timekeeping would be difficult. Especially if you are using your cell phone. If you are using your cell phone and then uh, you have the Philippine time and then you go to the other part of the world. If you go to Canada, if you go to the America, it's very difficult for you to have timekeeping. Okay? Mahirap yung date nyo at yung oras nyo, pati pagtulog nyo, mahihirapan kayo. Okay? Kaya nagkakaroon kayo ng changes of body clock. And what is this all about? So why primary gem is in Greenwich again? Simply because to avoid confusion, the nations of the world establish a special line na, across which date changes. Do you have any idea what is this line? Okay, so it swerves from 180 degrees meridian whenever convenient. So this is the line. Okay, and it's very near to the Philippines. Okay, this line is called the international date line. Again, this is the international date line. So, meaning to say, when you cross 
a very large country and when you go to that border across to that border it changes time and also and also the date for example in canada they are nine hours ahead of us and in america they are 24 we are rather uh, so sa canada nine hours pero sa america they are 24 hours late and we are 24 hours earlier than them. So, kung ngayon ay May 22, sa kanila May 21 pa lang. Okay, we are living in the future and they are living in the past. Okay? So, ganun yun para din alam ng bawat isa. Next, another brief introduction to the another line of the globe. So, the lines of latitude, another imaginary line. Latitude or parallels. Okay, ito yung another term. Parallels. Circle the earth from east to west. Okay, so from east to west. So the line of latitude runs from east to west. And then, it divides the earth into north and south. So again, the lines of latitude runs from east to west. This one. And then, it divides north and south part of the globe. So the starting point of Latitude or for latitude is the equator. The equator is at latitude 0 degree. At the north pole, the latitude is 90 degrees. Okay. And at the south pole, the latitude is 90 degrees south. Okay. So it's very easy to understand, right? It's very easy to familiarize with if we are talking about the right angle. Okay. This one, the right angle. At north, that is the 90 degrees north. Okay? That is the north pole. While, on the other hand, the 90 degrees south is the south pole. Good job. So, latitudes are parallel. So, as you can see here, we have a lot of lines of latitudes or parallels. So, those are horizontal lines. Kung ang longitude ay vertical lines, ang latitude ay horizontal Lines. So, latitude is measured in degrees north or degrees south. Longitude, degrees west or degrees east. And equator lies at zero degrees. North pole is found at 90 degrees north. South pole is found at 90 degrees south. And all other latitudes have a value between 0 degrees and 90 degrees north or south. So as you can see here, we have 0 to 90 degrees north. And then we have 0 down to 90 degrees that is south. Okay? So those are the different lines or degrees east and degrees, uh, sorry, degrees north and degrees south of latitude. And these latitudes has special names. Each east-west line represents an imaginary ring around the world. So as you move towards the poles, these rings get smaller. So as you can see, it's, uh, the rings become smaller as you go up. And as you go down here, the rings get smaller too. And it has a specific name. So for example, at 66 degrees north, we have the Arctic Circle. This one. Kaya, all of the countries located in the Arctic Circle are very cold and icy. Next, we have Tropic of Cancer at 20 degrees north. So, it is located at the middle. So, they have tropical climate. So, Equator, they have kind of hot or tropical climate. And then, we have Tropic of Capricorn at 20 degrees south here. That's why we have rainy and sunny season. They also have tropic climate. And then we have Antarctic Circle at 66 degrees south. So that's why they have a lot of ices over there. Okay, so those are the names of latitudes. We have Arctic of Circle or Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer at 20 degrees north and 66 degrees north, the Arctic Circle. Okay, while at the south, we can find Tropic of Capricorn at 20 degrees south and Antarctic Circle at 66 degrees south. Do not forget all those special names. Okay, Tropic of Cancer, 
Tropic of Capricorn, and then Antarctic Circle. Okay, for lesson number two, how to locate places using coordinates. So we are going to dig deeper in locating places. For me, it's very hard, but in this case, we will be able to understand how to locate places. So these are the tips, okay? This is how you can locate places using latitude and longitude because it's very, very easy for us to identify and to locate places when we have guidelines, okay? So those lines are imaginary lines and they become our guides, okay? For us to locate a specific location on the globe or on the earth. So number one, each latitude and longitude is 15 degrees away from each other. As you can see here, 0, 15, 30, 45, so on and so forth. As we go further away from the center, the degrees increases. This, this is the center, primary region 0, equator 0. So as we go away from the center, the degrees increases. Do not forget that. So number two, longitude and latitude are measured in degrees. So this is how you write it, which can be further be divided in minutes where there are 60 minutes per degrees and 60 seconds per minute. So for example, we have here uh, 45 degrees north and 30 degrees west. So it has a specific minute and seconds. Later on, I will show it to you. How are we going to read it and how are we going to write it? But as you can see, do not forget the degrees. Okay? And specifically, the direction. If it is north and south, that is latitude. If it is east and west, that is longitude. Okay, very good. And then number three, when writing locations latitude and longitude, always remember, write latitude first. Remember, la and lo. A is first, then O. So latitude first, and then longitude. Write first the latitude, then longitude. Very good. So examples. 38 degrees, 45 minutes north. That is latitude kasi north. This is, okay. Again, 38 degrees, 45 minutes north. Then we have 72 degrees and 2 minutes west. That is the longitude. So this is read as minute. Okay. Next, we have 35 degrees, 60 minutes south. That is latitude again. Then we have 122 degrees and 54 minutes east. That is longitude. So you first write latitude, then longitude, then 47 degrees, 37 minutes, and 22 seconds north. Okay, so meron tayong minutes dito, and meron na rin tayong seconds dito. Okay, 47 degrees, 37 minutes, and 22 seconds north. This is very good latitude. Okay? Let's forget that, okay? So latitude first, then longitude. Then next, number four. Let's take for example, we are looking for a place or for the place which has a latitude of 21 degrees and 58 minutes north and longitude of 34 degrees and 28 minutes west. So it will tell us that the place is located somewhere in the second quadrant. Okay, so this is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. So why is it at the second quadrant? Because we have north and then west. So meaning to say it is located up of the equator and then left side of the prime region. Okay, so it is specifically located at the second quadrant. Next, so if it is located at the second quadrant, therefore, it is northwest. Okay, take down notes of this one. 
So if it is located at the first quadrant, that is northeast. If it is in the second quadrant, it is northwest. Third quadrant, southwest. Fourth quadrant, southeast. Okay? Then, we are able to locate this specific place in our map or globe using quadrant and identifying the direction of our place. Okay, since this is northwest, it is very easy for us to locate the specific places by using the degree and minutes that we have here. Okay? And last, number five, plot the given latitude and longitude. So, magpa-plotting na kayo. If you saw already 21 degrees and 58 minutes north and 34 degrees and 28 minutes west, so this is it. So, we have here at 28 minutes west and we have here at 58 minutes north at 21 degrees so this is their intersection or this is where the lines of longitude and latitude meet so all we have to do is to plot it okay and then if you plot it already you will be identified or you will identify the specific location okay so if we look at the intersection point of the latitude and the longitude we can see that 21 degrees and 58 minutes north 38 or 34 degrees and 28 minutes west is located over here so you need to uh, pinpoint it or you need to plot it for you to be able to hint okay and for you to see the exact place do not forget to plot it. And then, here are sample coordinates. So, as you can see, we have sample number one, sample number two, sample number three, and number four. So, we have three degrees and 15 seconds, uh, sorry, 15 minutes south, and then one degree and 30 minutes east. So, this is how you plot it. Okay, then we have... 3 degrees and 45 minutes south and 2 degrees and 0, 0 degrees east that is lies over here. So you're going to plot it here. Same as with this one and the other examples. Okay? So that's how you plot it. All you have to do is to find the location of the place using the lines of latitude and longitude and when they intersect that is the exact location of the place you are looking for okay so as you can see here this is the zero so this is the equator it is below so it is south and this is zero the primary region located at the right that is the east and over here, this is the zero, which is the equator. And it is above the equator. That's why it's north. And this is the zero, as you can see, the prime region. So it is located at the left side. So that's why it's west. Okay, good job. Another one. Look at the prime region and the equator first. Okay, so this is the equator. So, located at the south, that's why it is 51 degrees and 15 minutes south. And located at the right side because this is the primary region. Okay? That's why it is 122 degrees and 30 minutes east. And same as with this one. Locate first the equator and prime region. So that you will not be confused where are you going to look if it is north or south or if it is east and west? Okay? And then, we have to remember the following. So, in real life, there are several instances where you would need to know how to find the longitude and latitude. For example, tracking hurricanes. It is used in tracking hurricanes, especially on the west part of the globe. Basically, they have that different kind of wind pattern. But here in the Philippines, we have a lot of tropical cyclones and then we have a lot of typhoons. So we use it for tracking typhoons 
coordinate system is used to track the path of the storm here and try to predict its future path. That's why makikita nyo or you will be able to foresee okay, weather forecast. Uh, yun yung mga weather forecast. Makikita nyo doon na sa Wednesday, alam na nila kung saan magla-landfall. Okay, sa Tuesday, then sa Wednesday, o sa Saturday, mawawala na yung bagyo because they are being tracked. O papunta to sa Northwest, papunta to sa Northeast, something like that because of the latitude and longitude. And uh, another example is in emergency situation like plane crash or ship sinking. So it is very useful. Para siyang radar. It's like a radar where you will be able to locate a lost ship or uh, plane crashed in the ocean or any part of the globe. So it's very useful. Coordinates of longitude and latitude assist rescue teams to locate. If you are in the middle of an ocean, there are no landmarks to use. So you better know your latitudes and longitudes. Kaya kung ikaw ay magsisiman balang araw or ikaw ay magiging piloto, uh, you need to know your latitudes and longitudes kasi it's very helpful for you guys. And if you are a traveler, it's very useful for you as well. Okay? So do not forget that. And then we have this part, Pili Pinas, locating Philippines. So thanks to our geographic coordinates, you can pinpoint any point on the earth. So, for example, if a foreigner asks you where the Philippine is, okay, what are you going to say? Uh, maybe you are going to think twice or think thrice. And if the foreigner asks you what is the location, exact location, using the latitude and longitude, and you didn't know where is the Philippines, so, do you know where the Philippines is located? Hmm. Okay. So, the answer is the Philippines is located in 12.8797 degrees north and 121.7740 degrees east. Or you can say like 12 to 13, it can be degrees north or 121 to 122 degrees east. So do not forget about the specific location of the Philippines. And we are made up of 7,641 islands already. Hindi na tayo 7,107. We are now 7,641 islands. Okay? And you need to explore that vast islands and islets. So another thing to remember. So nowadays, Locating places already leveled up. It is more advanced compared before because of the use of smartphones and different high technologies. So conventionally, we used compass and maps, but now we use or we have GPS. So in our phones and other devices, it can be on your laptop, it can be in your smartphones, but basically, uh, it can be commonly found in smartphones, okay, using your Google Map, using your Waze, and so on and so forth. So GPS means Global Positioning System. And this Global Positioning System uses the idea or the concept of longitude and latitude through using coordinating system, which uses longitude and latitudes. It is easier to locate places on Earth. So basically, the concept of GPS is finding the latitude and the longitude of the specific location of a place. So, dito rin siya galing. But, dinigitize lang. Okay, so it seems that you have already understood our topic for today. So, do not forget to answer the following. So, you need to watch and rewatch the video for you to be able to review and answer all the questions in your Google Classroom. So, do not forget answers only. For lesson number one, answer pages number four or page number four for the pretest. And it has part A and part B. So it has activity one and activity two. And for lesson number two, do not forget to answer page number eight for the post test. So I hope you learned something today and that will be helpful for each and every one of you. If you have any clarifications or you need like some questions to ask me 
do not be hesitant to reach me through my social media accounts in my YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page as well, and in my personal account, but not every day, okay? So basically in my FB page, and then I hope we are very eager to learn more about Earth and Space, and please be ready for the next topic because it will become exciting and uh, fun to learn about Earth and our universe as well. So this is your teacher, da, teacher Daryl Del Mundo, signing off. Have a nice day and God bless you all. See you next week. Bye, everyone.